Hi there, everybody. I'm Larissa Lai, and I'm the author of Iron Goddess of Mercy. I'm so happy to be here at Poetry London today. I'd like to begin with a little land acknowledgement. So I'm coming to you from Treaty 7 territory, which are the traditional homelands of the Blackfoot Confederacy, the Satina First Nation, uh, and the Stony Nakoda. The city of Calgary, where I live, is also known as Mokinstis, and it's also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. It's an honor to be reading for Poetry London. I'd like to thank David Bar Barrack for inviting me. I so wish I could be there in person. I'd also like to thank Aaron Moray, Trish Salah, and Arsenal Pulp Press for all they've done to make this book happen. You might think of Iron Goddess of Mercy as a love letter to Hong Kong, the goddess Guan Yin, and tea, a delicious drink at the root of a complex set of relationships. The book is comprised of 64 fragments in honor of a Chinese oracle called the I Ching. I'm gonna read five of them for you today. So this is number 51. Dear Oolong, if there were no such thing as tea, none of this would have happened. Bo ne, guk bo, heng pin, Long Ching or Ti Kun Yum, I hum, infusions a solution to remaining alert to irony as sleepers puff opium, trading the doozy of drowsiness for the carrot of charity, draining the oort cloud of our distant origins. Alert in the iron box, Tempest teases schoolyard bullies flipping their hair like fara. Mine's too flat to feather, Birds gather in conferences unable to backcomb for the stand-up comedian or punk rock pork hawk. My dialect ditzes for the fetal leaf, unfurling in hot water as English breakfast, Russian caravan, Prince of Wales, or Earl and Lady Grey. I hack for smack, heroin, morphine, or crack as Jardine Matheson plies the China trade, pirating porcelain, silk, cotton, and tea items of use traded for the inducement of rest. That's okay. I'll dream my way back into your loving arms race, Cold War or Trade War, parading handbags from Prada, Coach, and Chanel as students toss Molotov cocktails against tear gas on the MTR. Our scars glisten bright as stars fishing for birds in the Silver River, a sliver of memory flashing light on our addictions enforced by gunboat diplomacy, while geomancers crack ox scapula for a route out of psychic unrest. What metal could test this, gunpowder green or iron goddess, as my fireworks go up in smoke? I poke for a new Berlin find a cross on the road as fentanyl crisis boom echoes across centuries of artificial sleep. Perturbed galaxy ejects, tidal stream of stars, river jumps fish. Number 52, dear silence traveling as a kind of love, you protect the innocent from the injuries of the harmed, alarmed by violation the heart can't count. What the soldier did to her, I was so unhappy then. If I tell you, it will be as though I let him cut you too. I don't want to wield that knife, the strife of repetition confirming my perdition. Dear cut, dear beheading, dear 10,000 women, what iris witness killed her? The old ones don't know the talking cure. What if my therapist's avatar doesn't work on the people of Tang Street, the ones who crossed the mountains, leaving their dynasty a thousand years behind? What if it's only for one god cultures of confession, the absent present people of the on off switch and the lesson of my species leaves me in the dirt? For folks who ching circular on the how of Tao, what's left after I tell? I blink in the zero one of the whole and broken line. If I speak my hush, what world will whirl back to me? Will 10,000 flowers bloom or will the violets of violence boom me back to a jar of hot oil without arms, without legs, without eyes, sightless pig of obliteration sunk and scalded in hatred's imagination, 
deep as the lurch of my tentative love, the one I don't dare lest it bind you too. It's better to be Canadian, dance the nutcracker of ballerina beauty, white as an eastern snowstorm, so close you can't see your hand. Woman Emperor, intrigue by North Star, a line spine to crack back. 53. Dear witness protection with a predilection for memory without form. I swarm collect like flies on a stagnant pond or floodplain naming the gain of my silence by holding off the hot gush of feeling. I deal the cards of sharks gambling on the beauty of buildings, architecture of glass and steel, the pristine elegance of the perfect boardroom. My class is cover for the gashes of the past. 10,000 women burn their eyes out, polish mirrors of touch pads and smartphones, prod circuits beneath microscopes with tweezers too tiny for eyebrows arching surprise at innovative horror. If the lurk of work could perk a new army of the damned, crammed in facts and farms, alarmed and clocked to ramp production, it's no mistake that money is paper covering the drapes of our lapses. We burn a spirit version for the ones who took their silence with them. Cars, shirts, palaces of gold, computers, cell phones, eyeglasses, and billfolds. The cold, hard cash of a smoke that knows no other hold. Empire flops digital. Manual labor extends secret handshake. 54. Dear say without saying, dear role without playing, flaying flesh off the back of my therapist's avatar, halving the quest of my pluralist samovar. What if I'm cured in my Western region, regions while the Eastern lesion deepens? If I bleep the expectation of production to survive the occupation that ended 80 years ago, will you return the village we fled screaming? Turn the clock back to watchtower and banditry while I thread the cycle of silkworms fed by mulberry leaves, nourished by carp crap feeding mulberry bushes. I eat or sell the fish. My nimble fingers twine fine lines, spin a win for the export market. Is there any going back or does my wheel churn a different return? One that spurns payback for the kerning of yearning, turns seasoning for steak and waits for the bake of the warming earth. Is old fish skin village a double for life June? Or is the refrigerator factory the true cool of what was raised in China's modern stern, the burn of my Sunduk home? My inner critter stutters on human, seeks language for fur and down mysterious bacteria swimming the distance of my interior rivers, quivering lively as hives, buzzing the swarm of an other collective, suggesting the harm of an other invective, listing ships for yet another quip. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of autobiography. And I'm gonna read uh, the last one, number 64. Sixty-four, Dear Dow, old rotary, turtle shell squeal whistling in flames to name the hell of a revolutionary god. I split my cod, debone at spine to line a whispered history. Astronauts impossible labor climbs back down millennia, returns to earth. The E of Ching blusters to Shang ancestry, priestess geomancer of a bad romance. I'll take a chance on democracy from below, glowing in the slow heat of an other ember. Guilt shines beneath quilt of magpies, flashing shimmery feathers as Protestant lies down on her bed of nails, dials dialectic for that long distance feeling, beguiled by the gush of blood staining the shroud of her own making. What king could ding this, melt dragons in cauldrons to brew a better soup? I stoop, Loop Yue for Tinhao, 
Hun Yum for ocean goers, Avalo Kitishvera of the long march across deserts, Bodhisattva of water, queen mother of a different West, rescues father and brothers from massive spiral sea to sky storm. Now her incense coil burns above, snakes from ceiling of wet temple, steps from station of the cross. We were not yet Chinese when Chang was ancient. I dream my being returned to weavers once in future North Star. Dear Tong Yun, I pilot my ship on South China Sea, blink my split toenail, cast net for wishes, bungle my smuggle for a pot of rice steamed with salted fish. Echo wagers cap against standard. Hughes pool table to return love's body in remembered alphabets, lunar pull. Thank you so much for listening. It's been such a pleasure to read for you. And I hope I see you out in the real world one of these days very soon. Bye-bye.